Hey, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share with you my version of the Greek style roast potato, which just means that they are infused with lemon and garlic and oregano, and they are glorious. I make these a lot. I've shared pictures on Instagram. They're just delicious. And so before well, I don't really think that you need to make these in the summer because I make these all year long, but they do go really great with like any grilled fish, grilled meat, anything like that. They're just fantastic. Let me show you uh, what you'll need for now, which is just potatoes. Now, I'm using russets. I like a russet potato when I roast, but you can use really any potato that you want, a, you know, a um, golden, a red skin potato, whatever your heart desires. So what you'll do is you're gonna first take a pot, fill it with water, we're not gonna add our salt just yet, but what you do to your potatoes is I like to cut them into large chunks. Now these are going to be like that. So there's a lot of surface to really soak up your delicious juice, or you can do one of these, okay? You can do an irregular cut. So you go like, there's a half, then you're gonna go on an angle, and then on an angle again, okay? So there's even more surface for crispiness and absorbing all the goodness. Now these aren't going to be crispy like um, like a crispy potato wedge. It's just a, it's a different kind of crispy, which I'll talk to you about when we get there. We are going to do an updated rosemary garlic potato here very, very soon. Perfect for all of our fall and winter roast. Look at that. These are going to soak up all the delicious juice. Uh, but for now, we're going to work on these and you're going to absolutely love them. So what I'm going to do is I'm preheating the oven to 450. I'm going to add my potatoes to the water, add a generous sprinkle of salt, bring them to a boil and boil them until they're about a quarter of the way cooked through and then we'll drain and I'll show you what they look like when they're there. Potatoes uh, cooked for just a few minutes once they came to a boil. They're not even halfway cooked through yet, which is exactly what we want. And now we pretty much put the whole thing together. What you will need, of course, your potatoes. Then you need some chicken stock, which I just make a really intense one with some hot water and some of my better than bouillon powder. You need good olive oil, lots of lemon, garlic that I've smashed but still left in their peels. And then you'll need some hot pepper flakes, some more salt, and some good quality oregano. You can do either Greek oregano or Italian oregano, which is what I have over here. And that's pretty much it. These are insane. Like, just to wait and see how delicious they are. You're gonna take your potatoes, you're gonna place them, drain them pretty good, place them in a big pan. You want to make sure a best as you can and these are sort of in one even layer. Can you see all those bits that sort of break off when you cook the potatoes? That is heavenly. Now this, like I said, isn't going to ensure, ensure the dry crisp potato, but we will get to that in just a few weeks when it is potato stew roast season because uh, it's gonna rock your world. So we have those and then we pretty much put everything together. With the chicken stock, you're gonna add your good quality olive oil, you're going to squeeze in your lemon. You wanna get all that lemon out of there. And then I find it much easier to add my salt and my oregano to the wet mixture just because it mixes in easier. Lots of oregano. We're talking like a good tablespoon or so, maybe even a little bit more. And then a pinch of hot pepper flakes for just a little bit of heat, mix that in, and you're gonna pour this all over your potatoes. Here we go, it's gonna look like there's a lot of liquid, but you're gonna have to trust the process, okay? We cut a lemon in little quarters here, take your garlic, I leave the peel, I smash so that it releases flavor, but I leave the peels on to keep the garlic from burning. It sort of gives it a bit of a coat, you know? add that in, but the flavor of the garlic will infuse into the brothy liquid. And then I just take some lemon wedges and I just sort of shove them in there. Well, not wedges, but they're kind of like chunks. Shove them in there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this in my oven at 450 and it's going to cook for a while, um, not too long, but just until the, the potatoes have really absorbed all the liquid and they start to sort of like almost caramelize around the edges. I will show you what it looks like when we're there, but you're gonna have to just trust the process. And it, what I'll do is I'll come in and give them a stir every now and again if I feel like they need it. But for the most part, there's a lot of liquid here, so they will be 
good to go. And I just like to arrange so that any larger cuts are faced down. So there's maximum absorption of deliciousness. I mean, this is a flavorful bath that they're getting, you know? All right, let's put them in. Are these glorious or what? This is what I meant, what I said. You're not gonna get like super crispy potato, but what you will get are all these like nibbly bits on the edges that have caramelized and gotten crispy. You see that? I mean, that is just gorgeous. And then the flavor is really absorbed into the spud. It's, they're phenomenal. They are absolutely phenomenal. And I think you're gonna really enjoy them. I might just say 425, not 450 by the way. But you know the recipe will be written on laurainthekitchen.com. And you also have to just play around with the quantities depending on how much potato you have. I had about two pounds of potatoes here. So if you're gonna use more potatoes, you're gonna need more liquid and just sort of adjust things as you go along. But these are perfect, love by all. I'm gonna have, I take a little bite. I like to smoosh. Okay, see that? That's a good smoosh right there. Mm. This with some salmon for dinner is going to be phenomenal and I cannot wait. And a salad. I had a little bit of green, you know what I mean? Always. Mmm. Hot. So hot. Mmm. Flavor explosion. Like the potato like soaked it up like a sponge. Incredible. LaurenTheDish.com for the recipe. I hope you enjoy spending time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.